So when you talk about perspective, you have these national collections that are existing in a way, but people don't necessarily have the kind of access that they should to it. To me, uh, the National Museum is the most accessible, and then perhaps Central Bank. Perspectives is a mixed media exhibition of several artists who took part in the Mentoring by the Masters program. They were tutored by Master Ken Critchlow, and the National Museum show features a wide range. Like fashion designer Derek Ogis, he uses sodium alginate, a seaweed paste dye on his design, even though it's a more complicated process. He spoke about finding inspiration in this environment. It has a way of bleeding back into where I'm from, to be honest, because I'm a Caribbean person. And like she said, we live on an island. So all I see most of the time is sea, ocean, wind, breeze, fauna, animals, whatever you call it, whatever it is. And it's hard to want to step out of who you believe you are to do something totally different. He says artists need to change their surroundings. Other times, they need to clear their minds to find their true creative expression. Like Margaret Van Hannigan, who spoke about the feelings she gets when she encounters a truly interesting wood. I wrote a little book about a year and a half, maybe two years ago now. The book is called The Most Powerful Obia, Love. I fell in love with that word, Obia because I was thinking, you have Harry Potter, you have all these other things, and they're talking about witchcraft, and what's wrong with our obia? The backlash to that book was awful, but Margaret said it hasn't dampened her love of words. Her poetry lines the walls. It finds space with jewelry of all kinds. Kayomi Soret sculptures and digital portraits. Dream catchers, landscapes, and mandalas. Perspectives has been on since last November. It was supposed to end on January 14th. Because of public interest, it has already been extended until the end of the month. Soini Gray, C News.